All right, at the top of the page, today we're going to look at the mid-segment of a trapezoid. But the mid-segment, they use that word, but they also use the word median. They're the same thing. So mid-segment and median mean the same thing. And just like the mid-segment of a triangle, you take the midpoints of the two legs. So put a dot where you think the midpoint is, so it means that equals that on one side. And then you draw the midpoint over here. So this side or that segment equals that segment. So the mid-segment, just like in a triangle, is the segment that connects the two midpoints. So if you have a straight edge, you can draw the horizontal line straight across. Okay, but the mid-segment of a trapezoid is the segments whose endpoints are the midpoints of the legs. Since the bases of a trapezoid are parallel, this segment, when you draw it across, is also going to be parallel to the bases. So you can think of the parallel line properties. So the next bullet, the mid-segment of a trapezoid is parallel to each base. So let's give it some vertices. So let's call this trapezoid A, B, C, D. What do you want to call the mid-segment? P, Q, X, Y. We'll call it X, Y. So we're a little late tone. I already labeled it. X, Y. We'll call it X, Y is the mid-segment. So that means that X, Y is going to be parallel to the upper base A, B. And it's also going to be parallel to the lower base, CD. Now, in a triangle, the length of the mid-segment was half of the side parallel. So we're still going to see the one half. Okay, so the mid-segment is still half. but it's going to be half the sum of your bases. So I'm going to call this base 1 and base 2. So it's half of the sum of base 1 and base 2. Sometimes it's not really convenient to use one half though, because if you have to take half of 3, half of 5, you're working with decimals. So to get rid of the one half, so if you want to start this one, if you just double the mid-segment, That'll get rid of the one half, and that's equal to base one plus base two. So let's take a look at number one. Number one says find the length of KL. So that's what that means in terms of symbols. So if I want to find the length of KL, let's call that X. So that segment is half of the sum of the bases, so it's the average of the two. So it should fall right in the middle. So let's actually set it up. The mid-segment is half of 16 plus 26. What's 16 plus 26? 6 and 6 would be 12, carry the 1, it's what? 42. You can first take the 26, add the 10, so you get 36 plus the 6, and then half of 42 is 21. So let's put that in there, 21. So if you move from 16 to 21, from the one smaller base to the mid-segment, you add how many? Close. 5. What's 21 plus 5? 26. So that mid-segment, that length falls right in the middle. So it's the average of the two bases. So over here, when you have to do a question like this, it just makes sense to ask yourself, well, what did you add to go from that smaller number of 5.5 to 7.5? You add 2. So then add 2 to get to the upper base, and what's PQ? 9.5. 9.5. So let's just make note, 7.5 plus 2 is 9.5. Okay, so over here, let's go back and actually answer the questions. KL was 21, and here PQ 
is nine and a half. Number three, it says in the figure to the right, LH is a mid-segment of the trapezoid. What's the value of X? That's not giving us the lengths of any of the bases <coughs> in the mid-segment. Bless you. This is giving us angles. So what do we know or what do we use to find the angles? We're going to use the fact that these are parallel. Our parallel line cheat sheet, if you do the X's and O's, so this angle is equal to that vertical, and then it's the same on the bottom. The angles are between the parallel lines, so we look at these two parallel lines, and on the same side of the transversal. So that would be something like these two. What's true about X and O? Are they congruent or supplementary? Supplementary. So let's make note that X equals X and O equals O, but X plus O is 180. So these two angles are the interior angles on the same side of a transversal, so they're going to add up to 180. So 3X plus 56 plus 4X minus 16 equals 180. On your test, there'll be some instructions at the end to just write the equation to solve but not solve it. Because we, don't, we talked about this before, I don't want you to go through and have to solve every single equation for x. You know how to solve equations. I just want to know, do you know how to set it up? Do you know the property? Okay, but we will take the time to actually solve. 3x and 4x is 7x. And what is 56 minus 16? Good. Subtract the 6, then subtract the 10. Very good, 40. Subtract the 40, divide by 7. 180 minus 40 is? Good. And then what is 140 divided by 7? 20. 20 is correct. Nice job. Questions before we finish up? So this is finishing up the unit. Mid-segment is half the sum of the bases, or the average. So last three, angles again. So if we look at the chart on the opposite page, these angles are more like which ones? So maybe instead of flipping back and forth, I'm going to copy this down again. X, X, O, O. X, X, O, O. These two angles, because we know it's a trapezoid, okay, this is going to be parallel. Here's the transversal. This is more or less like um, this one and this one. So are the angles here congruent or supplementary? Congruent, okay? So the angles are congruent. And if they're congruent, we set their measures algebraically equal. So this is going to be 9x minus 7 equals 6x plus 23. So that's how you set it up, and we'll just take the time to solve for x. Colton? Yep, what's the first step? Then what do we do after we subtract the 6x? Then we add 7 to both sides. Good. So now I have 3x equals 30, and then we finish by? Dividing the 3 by the 30, and then you get x equals 10. So divide by 3, good, and x equals 10. Find the value of x, so we're done. Going back to the segments now. So the segment relationships, if you look at the front of your page, with the mid-segment, are right here. The mid-segment's half the sum of the bases, or two times the mid-segment gives you base one and base two. We put a star here because I think it's easier to do two times than take half. So let's use the second one. 
So two times the mid segment, we'll write it out in words, equals base one plus base two. Which segment is the mid segment? This is going to be two times which algebraic expression over here? Yeah, right in the middle. So RT is the mid segment. So it's going to be 2 times 6x minus 8 equals base 1 plus base 2. So 3x plus 8 plus 5x minus 4. Distribute the 2 all the way through. You double 6x minus 8, 6 times 2 is 12, 8 times 2 is 16. There's no distribution on the right side because, and you mentioned double, because the two parentheses are separated by a plus sign and they're not written right next to each other, then we just add them. So 3x plus 5x is 8x, 8 minus 4 is 4. Now in one step I'm going to add the 16 over and subtract the 8x since I'm running out of room. Um, those cancel, those cancel, 12 minus 8 is 4x and then 4 plus 16 is 20. Divide by 4 and x is 5. So this was just like the one multiple choice question on the warm up where I said to find the measure of something and not just x. So we have to go back and find the length of our t. So our t would be 6 times 5 which is and then 30 minus 8. 30 minus 8 is 22. Good. Last one. Looks a bit easier as there's no algebraic expressions. I mean, we do have a monomial x and y, but most of it looks to be numeric. So let's actually fill in all that we know about the angles. Okay? If this is 54, this is going to be 54. Because those angles, since this is parallel to this, that would slide right up the transversal and land right there. And then if this is 98, y is going to be 98. So we found y. x, let's go over to x. x is along a straight line, and its adjacent angle is 54. So what's true about x and 54? They add up to... 180. It, remember that kind of looks like a protractor? Yes. So because it looks like a protractor and there's 180 degrees in our protractor, our protractor, we know that x plus 54 is 180. So subtract the 54 and x is, got to borrow 10 minus 4 is 6, change that to a 7, 7 minus 5 is 2, x is 126. Do we have any other variables? We found x, we found y, there is a Z. It's right at the mid segment. So we know if we double this, so 2 times the mid segment, 2 times 2Z equals what plus what? Double the inside, and that equals what? Base plus base. So that would be the one base of 3Z plus the other base of 10. Double 2z, you get 4z. So subtract the 3z and we're done. Z is 10. Any other variables? Oh, we have a w. The w is right there in the segment a to m. What do you know about a m? Colton? We already found y. Y is 98. But what do you know about AM? Brandon? 
not add up to 12, but because this is a median, this is a midpoint, correct? So that means that 3w would be equal to 12 because am equals m to d because that's a midpoint. A midpoint divides a segment into two congruent segments. So 3w equals 12. Divide both sides by 3. And w is 4. four.